Hello and welcome everyone to Gold Asset of the Day for the 14th of April 2021 presented by myself, Phil Carr at the Gold and Silver Club. So as we transition into the middle of the week here, there's been a few opportunities so far, certainly on the precious metals here. In fact, gold and silver have followed their usual counterflow at the start of this week, giving you some really great opportunities with silver below $25 an ounce, and gold as well, dropping down to 1,723 US dollars per ounce. Nice opportunities to buy the dip here at the beginning of the week. So we bought in with silver this week at $24.90 per ounce, and also on gold at 1,727 US dollars per ounce. Right now, silver is trading at $25.33 per ounce and gold is trading at 1,747. So we've seen a nice breakout to the upside so far, and what we're looking for now as we progress throughout this week is if we can get some additional follow through over Wednesday and Thursday with an impulse move here to the upside. So far we've seen a nice breakout on Tuesday following on from the CPI data. That's dropped the dollar down towards one month lows, and it has helped propel the metals higher. It really is a trader's market with commodities at the moment. So far this week, we've banked 777 points with our members at the Gold and Silver Club. Many of those profits at the start of the week, they have come from energies, and we're already up nicely on new positions that we've taken on the precious metals over the last couple of days here. So what I'm looking out for really between now and the end of the week, as it relates to gold specifically, is to see whether we can now build some momentum and break above last week's highs. So whether we can take out 1,758 US dollars per ounce, which would then take us back towards the three week highs there for gold. And then we could potentially see a move back towards 1765 to 1770. So I'm looking out for that over the course of this week. We're certainly well positioned for that. Silver as well, want to see whether we can build up some momentum here and break above $25 and 55 cents per ounce. So breaking above last week's highs would then lead us back towards $26. And again, it really has been an opportunity to buy when traders have been panic selling at the beginning of the week. Many technical traders out there have been expecting lower prices. They'll be looking at head and shoulder patterns on the precious metals, expecting the breakdown that we had on Tuesday to take the precious metals a lot further to the downside. And all it has been is a great opportunity again to buy into that dip. I mentioned it many times, but April is a very strong month typically for the precious metals. You want to capitalize on that. Make sure you're banking profits regularly, but also buying on those dips is also very profitable at the moment. So we'll see whether we get some follow through here over Wednesday and Thursday. We're certainly well positioned for that. Energies have just been great over the last couple of weeks here as well. The range bound price action has been good just to keep coming in and out, banking profits. Learn the professional research driven approach to these markets where you're not going to be using outdated technical strategy, gimmicky indicators, which end up you panic selling right at the lows and also FOMOing in, buying when you get your delayed confirmation. We always like to be early into our trades and by the time most of the market is catching up and FOMOing in, we're already taking our profits off the table. And the same on the sell side, when most market participants are panic selling and liquidating their positions, this is when we're swooping in and stacking into trades, just getting really optimal entries, getting in there nice and early. Alongside this, you want to of course be aware of key areas of liquidity because it's just as important to know levels to bank your profits as it is to actually enter into trades. In fact, most traders tend to struggle the most on actually taking profit off the table, regularly locking in those profits, bricklaying your account and compounding your returns. Alongside that, you want to, of course, be aware of what the professional traders are doing in the market alongside the money managers, hedge funds, banks, institutions, week to week. That will help you massively understand the seasonal playbook that we have throughout the year. There's many opportunities that you can capitalize on. Having knowledge of the daily, the weekly, the monthly, the quarterly cycles in the market will help you massively and also understanding capital flows too. This will all give you a big edge. So with that, if you would like to find out more, join our community of successful traders, learn the research driven approach to the market and join our professional mentorship program. Just make sure you click in the link below today's report in order to make an application to become a member of the Gold and Silver Club.